you know, there's a report out that the White House actually contacted Fox News uh-huh. and is, quote unquote, colluding with Fox News in the same way that they were working with Facebook to block certain posts. Now, there's more information coming out on that. Speaking of which, let's dig deep. All right, so last week the White House said they were going to tell Facebook what is and what is not misinformation, and they would make Facebook take down that misinformation from their website. Remember this? Uh, thank you. Um, will the White House publicly release information on posts that it considers misinformation on vaccines that, that it's asked uh, Facebook to block? First of all, we've not fa- asked Facebook to block uh, any individual posts. Uh, the way this works is that there are trending, there are trends that are out there on social media platforms. Uh, you're aware of them. Uh- Ironically, that seems to be misinformation to me. Well, it, absolutely, right? because the week prior, uh-huh. she explained how Facebook understood yes. what we were asking. All right, so what is misinformation? That's the word that's getting thrown around a lot, misinformation. Merriam-Webster defines it as incorrect or misleading information. That's what misinformation is, incorrect yes. or misleading information. Wait a minute, uh-huh. but isn't that a lie? Yes, Okay. Yeah, but actually... I mean, you're just, you're kind of putting lipstick on it. But a lie, it, it, this also could be something that's not a lie, because a lie means you know it's wrong. This could be something that you may not know is wrong. It, you're just wrong. You but, haven't done your due diligence. It, there you go. Okay. Okay, all right. So this week, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Republican, was suspended from Twitter for spreading, quote, misinformation. Now, in an, in an indictment of our current journalist class... See if you can Google exactly what it was Representative Green was banned for tweeting. Just give it a shot after the show. All the big corporate media outlets, New York Times, Newsweek, CBS, ABC, simply said she spread, quote, misinformation. They didn't say alleged misinformation. And they certainly didn't show you the tweet so that you could decide for yourself. I did find the actual tweets. It's posted at thepostmillennial.com. Here's the alleged misinformation. She retweeted a post from Dr. David Samdi. He says, in the United Kingdom, 47% of new COVID-19 vac- cases are vaccinated people. You were talking about that tweet earlier this week. Then she commented, this is why no entity should force non-FDA-approved vaccines or masks. Instead, help people protect their health by defeating obesity, which will protect them from COVID complications and death and many other health problems. We should invest in health, not human experimentation. So is that misinformation? Do you think we, as a side note, mm-hmm. do you think we prefer illusion to the truth? I Because don't. The, the, the truth is sometimes very hard to bear. I, I agree, but I want to know the truth because the truth will set me free. I do not want to be sitting in a delusion because then I'm trapped in the delusion. Well, they say happiness is, or ignorance is bliss. It's not. It's not. Ignorant people say that. <laughs> okay, so is this d- in misinformation? Death rates among people who are obese are much higher than for people who aren't obese with COVID-19. That's a fact, right? It's a fact. Maybe her tweet is misleading because it's missing a single word, help, which will help protect them from COVID complications and death and many other health problems. But was that really misleading? Wouldn't solving obesity help more people than the COVID, va- uh, COVID vaccines? All of our leading causes of death are made worse by obesity. COVID, heart problems, lung problems, cancer. How is that misleading? Here's the other tweet she put out that got her banned. She was responding to a tweet about forcing people in the military to get the vaccine. She said the controversial hashtag COVID-19 vaccines should not be forced on our military for a virus that is not dangerous for non-obese people and those under 65. With 6,000 vax-related deaths and many concerning side effects reported, the vax should be a choice, not a mandate for everyone. Again, is that misleading information? But wait a minute. I think folks, and I I know many people say this, you know, you may be entitled to your own opinion, Uh but you're not entitled to your own facts. Okay. But see, I think that's where we are in America. When we're talking about misinformation, really what we're talking about is shutting people up. Because rather than trying to persuade other people Uh with facts facts and figures. And logic. uh, What does the left do? They just shame shame. those that they disagree. They silence them. And... You know, that's the danger. When we start when we start drawing lines mm-hmm. around the freedom of speech, the question is, where do you stop? And again, what she said it was pretty true. It, it's Now, you could say maybe you, you take issue with the word dangerous. It's not dangerous for those who aren't obese and under the age of 65. Okay. 
Water is dangerous in enough quantities. Oxygen is dangerous in enough quantities. Dangerous is a relative term. For people who are under 65 and are no, not obese, COVID isn't more dangerous than the flu. That's what the data says, at least. There have been people who died after getting the vaccine. Some of those deaths may have been due to complications from the vaccine, and no one is allowed to sue the pharmaceutical companies who created the vaccines if their family members die from the vaccines. So why was Marjorie Taylor Greene banned for misinformation? But see, I think what you're, the distinction that you're drawing there uh -huh. is that you're or not you, but I think what many people do is they confuse freedom of speech mm -hmm. as being the same of of the freedom of disagreeing. In other words, just because we disagree mm -hmm. doesn't mean that one of us has to be wrong. Or is spreading misinformation or is misleading people. We just may see it differently, and that should be okay. We should be able to agree to disagree. Now, last fall, see, here, here's what I find interesting. It's only Republicans who get banned for misinformation. Last fall, when the Hunter Biden laptop story came out, Joe Biden said it was Russia disinformation and it was a smear campaign. That was false. It was misleading information. Worse, it was intentionally misleading. Joe Biden knew what he was saying was a lie. But no one banned Joe for spreading misinformation. And actually, the social media platforms banned people from spreading correct information about the laptops, calling that truthful and accurate reporting, quote, misinformation. Jin Psaki herself spread misinformation during last fall's election when she tweeted an article saying Trump called U.S. troops losers, and yet she was never banned for that. Funny how this is only a one-way street. It's all about censorship.